All right, everyone, today major update dropped on Heptabase and why this has a big impact on the overall usage of Heptabase, I will show you in this video. It is about that we can now organize our tabs on the site, but there's so much more that we can do with this. So let's dive right in. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. If you're already using Heptabase, then you know whenever you open a whiteboard, a card, a tag or anything, it will get added here on the left side panel. And this is good to switch between tabs, but there was nothing else we could do. Not even reordering or also closing, we had to press the access. That's now a thing of the past. So that's the first big update here. We can move the things around, up and down. And this is already great that we can order it. Now, another thing was to pin the tabs, okay, the open tabs. So I can have it always at hand and I have a starting round. So right click and pin, boom. Now it's on the top section here that we talk about in a moment. Another thing that I can do now is create folders. So you see here already that I created folders. I can click on the three dots here and I say new tab folder and I say saved cards. And then I can move, drag and drop the cards in here. That's amazing, very intuitive. I could also pin this and then move it up here. So there are many ways. What is missing right now is that I can give the folders different colors. I didn't find how this is possible, but I'm pretty sure this will come as well as they are into coloring stuff as well. But this is already a major great start. So why I'm so excited, however, is the issue that I had that whenever I was working in one device, on something and deep thinking and went to another device, it was out of sync. Just by going to the browser and opening the Heptabase in the browser, there was a complete different set of open tabs than it was on the desktop version. And this changed, and this not only changed, it's not only just syncing what you see here, but you have now different tab groups. And this, my friends, is a game changer because now you can instantly switch focus mode what you're working on. What this means, I will show you right now. We are used in tools like Tana or Notion and, and ClickUp and so on, that we can create different workspaces. So we can build different single source of truths within this tool, right? Here, we have a new approach now because now we can add everything on top level and have everything in one place, in one workspace, but then we can organize it into sub workspaces, just called tab groups. But I see it now as workspace because you see already private and paperless movement. So here we are in the paperless movement. I click on this workspace and I immediately have the set of tabs that I want to use. Obviously it's still a mess because I'm, I'm these are the open tabs that I was working on uh, recently. But now let's say I want to set up a new tab group here. So let's create one. And as a hobby, I'm also doing game development okay so let's do the game development workspace or so tab group okay so now we are here let's close this and now there's nothing on the side if i'm going to the map then you see the my life for those of you who watched our heptabase like a pro course they know that we structure heptabase by our my life os concept so this allows us to easily zoom out and then zoom into the place that we need to go with these new tab groups it's even easier to get to these places but i show you now let's go to the game development space in my life i go to my life you see we structure by key elements a uh, business and personal and then my topic so game development is part of my topics. I go to game development. Here's what I do. This is the Unreal Engine development. And that's already the whiteboard I want to save. It's already on the side. So I just pin it now and now it's on top. Now let's open up uh, blueprints. Okay, something I need regularly to revisit, for example. Then I could now pin this as well on the top. And now I can instantly switch to paperless movement and I'm in a focus mode paperless movement. That's what I want to think about. If I'm thinking about a specific topic in depth, then this is a game changer because now I can just simply go to this topic and have everything related already set up in the structure. I have the whiteboard, I have the related tags available and so on. And then I can switch to a different topic and boom, I can immediately start working. This makes it also easier now to capture things in there. Whenever something new comes to mind, I can easily go now there. And now when you go to the browser and you have the same options here, you can now switch to tab groups. I can go to private and I can start adding the stuff here. So as you can see, it's not set up yet because I just wanted to share these news with you right after they published their update. Thank you very much, Heptabase team. What an amazing update this is. Well done. Keep it bringing up. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so I can catch you up with more updates about Heptabase next time. Everybody.